All right. Um, let me open this up. Just double checking that I'm actually live on my phone. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes it says I'm live, but I'm not actually. I've, that's happened before, right? Did the Jadwani like three times thinking that I was live and then I finished and then I realized that I wasn't. Okay, there are already two people there. See, my computer, it's so weird. Anyways, this program. Let's begin. Thanks for being patient, guys. Oh my god, it's Mirandas. Oh no, I'll do Jadwani. I'll just do a quick Jadwani because it's late. Jai Shri Guru Dev. Jai Sachinandan Gaur Hari ki Jai Shri Guru Dev ki Shri Shri Radha Vinod Bihari Ju ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Damodar Ju ki Jai Shri Guru Dev ki Jai Shri Prabhupada ki Jai Shri Param Guru Dev ki Jai Shri Prabhupada ki Jai Shri Guru Parampara ki Jai Shri Tulsi Maharani Vinod Devi ki Jai Shri Giriraj Maharaj ki Jai Shri Sapa Shadji Gaur Hari ki Jai Shri Radha Krishna Gopagopi Gan ki Jai Shri Kartik Vrat Urja Vrat ki jai, Urja Shri Shimati Radharani ki jai, uh, Granta Raj Shimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Nantakoti Vaishna, Vrinda ki jai, Samagata Gaur Bhakti Vrinda ki jai, Shinitai Gaur Priman and De Hari Hari. Om Gyanat Mirandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena, Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Radhikaya Priyatmane. Shri Shri Mar Bhakti Vedanta Narayaniti Namine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamaniti Namine Vansha Kalpataru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyayevacha Paditanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurati Shainamaha Guruve Gaura Chandraya Radhikaya Itadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tarbhaktaya Namo Namaha Yam Pravajantam Anupetam Apeta Krityam Tvaipaya No Vyahakatara Ajuhavo Putre titan mayataya taravo bhinedos tang sarva bhuta hridaya muni manatosmi narayanam namaskritya naran chayva narotamam devim saraswatim vyasam tato jayam udirayet shrinvatam svakata krishna punya shavana kirtana hridanta sriya badrani vidhunoti surit satam Nashta Prayashvabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavatu Tamashloke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Vai Vasmi Tavai Vasmi Najivami Tvaya Vina Iti Vigaya Rade Tvam Nayamam Charanantikam Bhaktya Vihina Aparada Lakshay Kshiptashta Kama Ditaranga Kripa Maitam Sharanam Prapanna Vrinde Namaste Charanaravinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda 
श्री आदित कदादार शिवासरी गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे I'm just going to share my entire screen so that there all right that way you guys don't need to you guys can see what I'm doing you're not in the dark All right, oh, and let's just, I'm not going to do a full-on recap like where I read all the verses or anything, but I'll do a really quick one, um, just so that we see the order of incarnations. I'm just going to quickly read out the name of the incarnations this, uh, described. First was Varaha, Suyagya, the son of Ruchi and Akuti, Kapila, Datatreya, the four Kumaras, Nar Narayan, Prigarva, Prithu, Rishabdev, the son of Sudevi and Nabi, Hayagriva, Matsya, Kurma, Nishingadev, Hari, Vamadev, Hangsa Avatar, Manvantaravatar, Dhanvantari, Parashuram, Ramachandra, Krishna. And now we're going to read about Vyasadev, Buddha, Kalki, the Gun Avatars, um, and understanding Lord Vishnu by his mercy. All right, so that's the program for today. And then tomorrow we'll finish the chapter. Okay, 36, right? What? 11? 15? <laughs> Sorry guys, this must be really annoying. 25? 27? 30? 34? I should do this beforehand. Okay, there. So yesterday, the last verse we did was I'm just making sure that we're The four kinds of paraphernalia for conducting the fire sacrifice became manifest. The performer, the chanter, the offerer, the fire, and the action performed in terms of the supplementary Vedas. Also, the four principles of religiosity, truth, austerity, mercy, and cleanliness, and the duties in the four social orders all became manifest. So that's what we ended with yesterday. All right, that's what I have marked in my book. Wait a second. Oh, shoot. What the heck? Guys, thank you for waiting. 24, 36. Are we in the wrong chapter? Yeah, here we are. Oh, whoops, I read the wrong verse. All 
demoniac personalities like Palamba, Denuka, Baka, Geshe, Arishta, all these different people, um, they either they attained either the impersonal Brahma Jyoti or his personal abode in the Vaikuntha planet. So all these different demons and, and all the warriors and all these, they all attain the same amazing destination. And so then Srila Prabhupada ended, since there is such benefit of those who played with the Lord animically, one can imagine what would be the position of one who has devotedly served the Lord in a transcendental relationship with Him. Kalena milita diyam avarishanrinam Stoka yusham sanigamo batadura para Avirhita stanug yugam sahi satya satya vatyam Veda drumam vita pasho vipajishyati sma the Lord himself in his incarnation as the son of Satyavati, Vyasadeva, will consider his compilation of the Vedic literature to be very difficult for the less intelligent persons with short life. And thus he will divide the tree of Vedic knowledge into different according to the circumstances of the particular age. Herein, Brahma mentions the future compilation of Srimad Bhagavatam for the short-lived persons of the Kali age. As explained in the first canto, Less intelligent persons of the age of Kali would not would be not only short-lived, but also perplexed with so many problems of life due to the awkward situation of the godless human society. Advancement of material comforts of the body is the act, is activity in the mode of ignorance, according to the laws of material nature. Um, real advancement of knowledge means progress of knowledge in self-realization. But in the age of Kali, the less intelligent men mistakenly consider the short lifetime of 100 years, now factually reduced to about 40 or 70, 60 years, <laughs> to be all in all, maybe in Africa. Uh, really? 40 to 60 years? Maybe, is that like the world? No, that's too young. Anyhow. They are less intelligent because they have no information of the, of the eternity of life. They identify with the temporary material body existing 40 years and consider it the only basic principle of life. Such persons are described as equal to the asses and bulls. But the Lord, as the compassionate father of all living beings, imparts unto them the vast Vedic knowledge and short treatises like Bhagavad Gita and, for the graduates, the Srimad Bhagavatam. The Puranas and the Mahabharat are also similarly made by Vyasadeva for the different types of men and the modes of material nature, but none of them are independent of the Vedic principles. Vesham vidaya bahubhashyata opadharmyam. When the atheists, after being well versed in the Vedic scientific knowledge, annihilate inhabitants of different planets, flying unseen in the sky on well-built rockets prepared by the great by the great scientist Maya, the Lord will bewilder their minds by dressing himself attractively as Buddha, and will preach on sub-religious principles. Purport. This incarnation of Lord Buddha is not the same Buddha incarnation we have in the present history of ma mankind. According to Srila Jiva Goswami, the mission mentioned in this verse appeared in a different Kali age. In the duration of life of one Manu, there are more than two Kali Yugas, and in one of them, the particular type of Buddha mentioned here would appear. Lord Buddha incarnates at a time when the people are most materialistic and preaches common sense religious principles. Such a hinsa, Lord Buddha incarnates at a time when people are most materialistic, and he preaches. Sorry, I was, I was reading it the wrong way. There should be a comma here, right? No, no, I don't know. 
and he preaches common sense religious principles. What the fuck? Such a hingsa is not a religious principle itself, but it is an important quality for the. Uh, but it is an important quality for persons who are actually religious. It is a common sense religion because one is advised to do no harm to any other animal or living being, because such harmful actions are equally harmful to he who does who does uh, is equally harmful to he who does the harm. But before learning these principles of nonviolence, one has to learn the two other principles, namely to be humble and to be prideless. Unless one is humble and prideless, one cannot be harmless and nonviolent. And after being uh, and after being nonviolent, one has to learn tolerance and simplicity of living. One must offer respects to the great religious pre preachers and spiritual leaders, and also train the senses of the uh, and also train the senses for controlled action. Learning to be unattached to family and home, and enacting devotional service to the Lord, etc. At the ultimate stage, one has to accept the Lord and become his devotee. Otherwise, there is no religion. And religious principles, there must be God in the center. Otherwise, simple moral instructions are merely sub-religious principles, generally known as upadharma, or nearness to religious principles. Yar, yar, yalave, yar, yalayeshva pisatam nahare katasu Pashandino Tijajana Vrishala Nrideva Swaha Swadava Shariti Smagiro Nayatra Shasta Pavishya Tirkaler Bhagavan Yugante. Thereafter, at the end of Kali Yuga, when there exists no top topics on the subject of God, even at the residences of so-called saints and respectable gentlemen of the three higher castes, and when the power of government is transferred to the hands of ministers elected from the low-born shudra class, or those less, less than them, and when nothing is known of the techniques of sacrifice, <laughs> even by word, at that, that time the Lord will appear as the supreme chastiser. <laughs> that is so funny. Because today is um, election day, isn't it? We're going to find out who the president of the United States is, like, just in a few hours from now, right? And, um, and it's saying, when the power of government is transferred to the hands of ministers, elected from the low-born sutra class are those less than them. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. Does that mean that Krishna is going to come soon? No. Um, purport. The symptoms of the worst conditions of the material world at the last stage of this age, called Kali Yuga, are stated herein. The sum and substance of such conditions is godlessness. Even the so-called saints and higher castes of the social orders, generally known as the Dvijajans, or the twice-born, will become atheists. As such, all of them will practically forget even the holy name of the Lord and what to speak of his activities. The higher castes of society, namely in the intelligent class of men guiding the destines of the social orders, the administrative class of men guiding the law and order of the society, and productive class of men guiding the economic development of the society, must all be properly well versed in knowledge of the Supreme Lord, knowing factually his name, quality, pastimes, entourage, paraphernalia, and personalities. The saints and the higher castes or orders of the society are judged by the proportion of knowledge in the science of God, or tattva gyan, and not any kind of birthright or bodily designations. Such designations without any knowledge of the, of the science of God and practical knowledge of devotional service are considered to be all decorations of de uh, dead bodies. Decorations on dead bodies, right? Anyways, it doesn't matter. And when there is too much inflation of these decorated dead bodies in society, so all these good qualities, they're, they're dead because they don't have any spiritual life. Without any devotion or anything, there's, you're just a dead body, really. And so all your good qualities are just like, they're good things, they're beautiful, all these qualities, but they're, they're ornaments on a dead body. So all, all of these decorated... Uh, the, all, um, and when there is too much inflation of these decorated dead bodies in society, there develop so many anomalies in, in the progressive, peaceful life of the human being. 
Because of the lack of training, our culture and the upper section of the social orders, there are no more, uh, they are no more to be de designated as the Dvijajans, or the twice-born. The significance of being twice-born has been explained in many places in these great literatures. And again, one is reminded herewith that birth executed by, by, by the sex life of the father and mother is called animal birth. <laughs> but such animal birth and pro progress of life on the animal principles of eating, sleeping, fearing, and mating without any scientific culture of spiritual life is called the shudra life, or to be more explicit, the uncultured life of the lower, caste of, the lower class of men. It is stated herein that the governmental power of society in the, in the Kali Yuga will be passed over to the uncultured, godless laborer classes of men. And thus the Nridevas, or the ministers of the government, will be the Vrishalas, or the uncultured, lower cla uh, the uncultured lower class men of society. No one can expect any peace and prosperity in a human society full of uncultured lower classes of men. The symptoms of such uncultured social animals are already in vogue, and it is the duty of the leaders of men to take note of it and to try to reform the social order by introducing the principles of twice-born men trained in the science of God consciousness. This can be done by expanding the culture of Srimad Bhagavatam all over the world. In the degraded condition of human society, the Lord incarnates as the Kalki Avatar and kills all the demoniac, all the demoniac without mercy. Sarge tapo hamrishayo navaye prajesha Stane ta dharma makaman va mara vanisha Ante ante tva dharma harama nyu vasharus vasasuradya Maya vibhutaya ima purushakti bhaja At the beginning of creation there are penance, myself Brahma and the Prajapatis, the great sages who, are, who generate. Then, during the maintenance of the creation, there are Lord Vishnu, the demigods with, with controlling powers, and the kings of different planets. But at the end, there is irreligion, and then Lord Shiva and the atheists, full of anger, etc. All of them are different representative manifestations of the energy of the supreme power with the, uh, the supreme Lord. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. The material world is created by the energy of the Lord, which is manifest in the beginning of the creation by the penance of Brahmaji, the first living being in the creation. And then there are the nine prajapatis, known as great sages. At the stage when the creation is maintained, there are devotional service to Lord Vishnu, or factual religion, the different demigods and the kings of different planets who maintain the world. At last, when the creation is preparing to wind up, there is the first principle of irreligion, then Lord Shiva, along with the atheists, full of anger. But all of them are but different manifestations of the Supreme Lord. Therefore, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahadev, Shiva, are different incarnations of the different modes of material nature. Vishnu is the Lord of the mode of goodness, Brahma is the Lord of the mode of passion, and Shiva is the Lord of the mode of ignorance. Ultimately, the material creation is but a temporary manifestation meant to give the chance to give the chance of liberation to the conditioned souls who are entrapped in the material world and and one who depends on the mode of goodness under one who depends on the mode of goodness under the protection of Lord Vishnu has the greatest chance of being liberated by following the Vaishnava principles and thus being promoted to the kingdom of God no more to return to this miserable material world Vishnu Vishnu no Vishnor Nuvira Gananam Katamor Katamor Hatiha Ya Parti Vanya Pika Virvi Mamera Jangsi Chakshambhaya Swarahasa Skalata Tris Prishtam Yasmatri Samya Sadanad Uru Kampayanam who can, describe the, uh, who can describe completely the prowess of Vishnu? Even the scientists who might have counted the particles of the atoms of the universe cannot do so. Because it is he, uh, because it is he only who in his form of Trivikram moved his leg effortlessly beyond the topmost planet, Satyayu, 
satya loka up to the neutral state of the three modes of material nature and all were moved the highest scientific advancement of the material scientists is atomic energy but the material scientist is not a, uh, the material scientist is not able to have an estimation of the particles of atoms contained in the whole universe but even if one is able to count such atomic particles or is able to roll up the sky like one's bedding <laughs> Even then, one is unable to estimate the extent of the prowess and energy of the Supreme Lord. <laughs> Even one is able to roll up the sky like one's bedding. One is unable to know the, the extent of the prowess and energy of the Supreme Lord. He is known as Travikram because once in his incarnation of Vaman, he expanded his leg beyond the highest planetary system, Satyaloka, and reached the neutral state of the modes of, material, of, of nature called the covering of this material world. There are seven layers of the material coverings over the material sky, and the Lord could penetrate even those coverings. With his toe, he made a hole, in, uh, he made a hole through which the water of the causal ocean filters into the material sky, and the current is known as the sacred Ganges, which purifies the planets of the three worlds. In other words, no one is equal to the transcendentally powerful Vishnu. He, uh, he is omnipotent, and no one is equal to or greater than him. Nantam vidham yahamami munayo grajaste Maya balasya purushasya kutovaraye Kayangunanda shasan sata shatanana arti deva Shesho duna pisamavasya tinasya param Neither I, uh, neither I nor all, all the sages born before you know fully the omnipotent personality of Godhead. So what can others who are born after us know about him? Even the first incarnation of the Lord, namely Shesh, has not been able to reach the limit of such knowledge, although he is describing the qualities of the Lord with ten hundred faces. The omnipotent personality of Godhead has primarily three potential manifestations, namely internal, external, and marginal potencies with unlimited expansions of these three energies. As such, the potential expansions can never be calculated by anyone because even the personality of God himself, as the incarnation of Shesh, cannot estimate the potencies, although he has been describing them continuously with his 1,000 faces. Sarvatmana Shrita Padoya Dinir Vyaklikam Te Dushta Rama Titaranti Chadeva Mayam Naishama Mahamiti Shashrigala Bhakshe. But anyone who is specifically favored by the Supreme Lord, the Personality of Godhead, due to unalloyed surrender unto the service of the Lord, can overcome the insurmountable ocean of illusion and can understand the Lord. But those who are attached to this body, which is meant to be eaten at the end by dogs and jackals, cannot do so. Purports, the unalloyed devotees of the Lord know the glories of the Lord in the sense that they can understand how great the Lord is and how great is His expansion and diverse energy. Those who are attached to the perishable body can hardly enter into the realm of the science of Godhead. The whole materialistic world, based on the conception of the material body as the self, is ignorant of the science of God. The materialist is always busy working for the welfare of the material body, not only his own, but also of those of his children, kinsmen, community men, countrymen, etc. The materialists have many branches of philanthropic, philanthropic and altruistic activities from political national and international angle of vision but none of the field work can go beyond the jurisdiction of the misconception of identifying the material body with the spirit soul unless therefore one is saved from the wrong conceptions of the body and the soul uh, unless therefore one is saved from the wrong conception of the body and the soul there is no knowledge of godhead and unless there is knowledge of godhead all advancement of material civilization however dazzling should be considered a failure Vedahamanga paramasya hi yogam yogamayam 
yuyum vavascha bhagavanatta daitta varya patni mano sacha manus chataratma jastha cha prajina bahiri ribur anga utadruvascha ikshvakuraila muchukunda videha gadi ragvam parisha sagaragaya nahushadya mandat Mandatira larka shata dvano nuranti deva deva vrata valira murta raya dilipa so bariutanka shibi deva la pipa lada sara satva dva tava parashara bhurishena Yene vibhishana hanumarupendra datta partarshti shena vidura shruta deva varya. Is this the twelve Mahajans? I don't know. Let's see. O oh, Narad, although the potencies of the this, uh, although the potencies of the Lord are unknowable and un- immeasurable, still, because we are all surrendered souls, we know how He acts through His Yoga Maya potencies. And similarly, the potencies of the Lord are also known to the all-powerful Shiva, the greatest king of the atheistic family, namely Prahlad Maharaj, Swayam Bhuva Manu, uh, sorry, the great king of the atheistic family, namely Prahlad Maharaj, Swayam Bhubamanu, his wife Shatarupa, his sons and daughters like Priyavrata, Uttanapad, Akuti, Devahuti, and Prasuti, Prachini Barhi, Prachina Barhi, Ribu, Anga, the father of Vena, uh, Anga, the father of Vena, Maharaj Dhruva, Ikshvaku, Ayla, Muchukunda, Maharaj Janak, Gadhi, Ambarish, Sagara, Gaya, Nahusha, Mandata, Alarka, Shatadanve, Anu, Rantidev, Bhishma, Bali, Amurtaraya, Amurtaraya Dilip, Dilipa, Sobhari, Utanka, Shibi, Devala, Pipalada, Saraswata, Uddhava, Parashar, Bhurishen, Vibhish, Vibhishan, Hanuman, Shukade, Goswami, Arjuna, Arishtasena, Vidura, Shutudev, etc. Oh my god, that was a mouthful. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna end soon. We're gonna end with verse 46. All the great devotees of the Lord, as mentioned above, who flourished in the past or present, and all the devotees of the Lord who will come in the future, are aware of the different potencies of the Lord, along with the potency of His name, quality, pastimes, entourage, personality, etc. And how do they know? Certainly, it is not by mental speculation, nor any attempt by dint or of limited in, in instruments of knowledge. By the limited instruments of knowledge, either the senses or the material instruments like microscopes and telescopes. I'm sorry, one, one cannot even fully know the Lord's material potencies, which are manifested before our eyes. For example, there are many millions and billions of planets far, far beyond the scientist's calculation. But these are only the manifestations of the Lord's material energy. What can the scientist hope to know of the spiritual potency of the Lord by such material efforts? Material speculations by adding some dozens of ifs and maybes cannot aid, in the, cannot aid the advancement of knowledge on the con- uh, of knowledge. On the contrary, such mental speculations will only end in despair by dismissing the case abruptly and declaring the non-existence of, the, of God. The sane person, therefore, ceases to speculate on subjects beyond the jurisdiction of his tiny brain, and as a matter of course, he tries to learn to surrender unto the Supreme Lord, who alone can lead one to the platform of real knowledge. In the Upanishads, it is clearly said that the Supreme Personality of Godhead can never be known simply by working very hard and taxing the good brain. Nor can he be known simply by mental speculation and jugglery of words. The Lord is knowable only by one who is, sur- who is a surrendered soul. 
Here in Brahmaji, the greatest of all material li living beings, acknowledges this truth. Therefore, the fruitless spoiling of energy by pursuing the path of experimental knowledge must be given up. One should gain knowledge by surrendering. Sorry, one should gain knowledge by surrendering unto the Lord and by acknowledging the authority of the persons mentioned herein. The Lord is unlimited, and by the grace of the yoga of, of the yoga maya, um, He helps the surrendered soul to know Him proportionately with the ad, with the advance of one surrender. Forty-six. We're going to end with this verse here. Devai vidanta tita, devai vidanta tita cha deva mayam stri shudra huna shabara api papa jiva yadyar bhuta krama para yana shila shikshas tiryagjana api kimu shuta dharana ye. Surrendered souls, even from groups leading sinful lives, such as women, the labor class, the mountaineers, and the Siberians, <laughs> or even the birds and beasts, can also know about the science of Godhead and become liberated from the clutches of the illusory energy by surrendering unto the pure devotees of the Lord and by following in their footsteps in devotional service. Siberians. <laughs> That's so random. Okay. Um, Perfect. There are uh, sometimes there are inquiries as to how one can surrender unto the Supreme Lord. In the Bhagavad Gita, eighteen sixty six, the Lord asked Arjuna to surrender unto Him, and therefore persons unwilling to do so question where God is and to whom they should surrender. The answer, uh, the answer to such persons or inquiries is given here here and very properly. The personality of Godhead may not be present before one's eyes. But if one is sincere and wants such guidance, the Lord will send a bona fide person who, who, who can guide one properly back home, back to Godhead. See, that's the key word there. If one is sincere in wanting such guidance, if we really want it sincerely, then we get a bona fide guru. But if, we, if we're not sincere, then we'll get a cheating guru. There is no need of material qualifications for making progress on the path of spiritual realization. In the material world, when one accepts some particular type of service, he is required to possess some particular type of qualification also. Without this, one is unfit for such service. But in devotional service of the Lord, the only qualification required is surrender. Surrendering oneself in one's own hand. Uh, surrendering oneself is in one's own hand. If one likes, he can surrender immediately, without delay, and, and that begins his spiritual life. The bona fide representative of God is as good as God himself. Or in other words, the loving representative of the Lord is more kind and more easy to approach. A sinful soul cannot approach the Lord directly, but such a sinful man can very easily approach a pure devotee of the Lord. And if one agrees to put himself under the care of such a devotee of the Lord, he can also understand the science of God and also become like the transcendental pure devotee of the Lord and thus get his liber uh, and thus get his liberation back to Godhead, back home, home for eternal happiness. So realization of the science of Godhead and relief from the unnecessary use, uh, for the unnecessary useless struggle for existence are not all difficult for the willing candidate. But they are very difficult for persons who are not surrendered souls, but only simple profit, profitless speculators. I liked that purport. Um, all right, we're ending here. We'll read from verse 47 to model. One second, I'm just marking it in my book so that I don't forget what verse we're on. Verse 47. All right, and I'm just going to quickly open up. Um, Okay, here we are, verse 47, we're on page 76. All right, um, so we did 76 pages in, because we started it, in, um, we did 76 pages in four days, no, five days. Uh, 
Right, today is the fifth day of Kartik. Yes, it is. Um, oh, this is what I want to do. I wanted to see what are we reading about. We'll be reading a description of Paramatma and Brahman, and establishing uh, and establishing Bhagavan as the ultimate face. And then we'll read about the summary of verses 2 and 5. Uh, we'll read about the dissemination of this knowledge. Summary, yeah. And then, so, yeah, we'll finish the chapter tomorrow. All right. Um, I'll end with a little Maha Mantra. Yeah, and guys, sorry, every, every, um, every morning when I do the Bhagavatam reading, I've been really tired. But, you know, as soon as I'm able to get people to go live on the, the evening kirtans, after I do my program, then there's the Radharani kirtan thing. As soon as I can get some people going live on that, then I, I'll be able to go to sleep earlier and I'll be able to be more awake. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Nitai Gaur, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Nitai Gaur, Hare Bol, Nitai Gaur, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Hare Bol, Nitai Gaur, Hare Bol. Oh my god, I accidentally went live on the Gaudiya Kirtan page with this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, to Jai Shishi Guru Guranga Gandharvika Giridhari, Shishi Radha Vinod Bihari Juki Jai Shri Govana Gopinath Maran Mohan Juki Jai, Nitila Pavishra Mishnupar, Ashatar Shatar Shishmad, Shala Bhakti Varanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj, Shala Guru Devi Ki Jai, Nitila Pavishra Mishnupar, Ashatar Shatar Shishmad, Shala Bhakti Varanta Vaman Gosai Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Mishnupar, Ashatar Shatar Shishmad, Shila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Mishnupar, Ashatar Shatar Shishmad, Shila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Mishnupar, Ashatar Shatar Shishmad, Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Maha Bhagavat Shila Gokshara Swabaji Maharaj Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Shila Satcharananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai. Nitila Pavishra Vaishnava Sarvabhama Shri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj ki jai, Shri Rupa Nugokoriya Guru Varga ki jai, Shri Rupa Sanatan Pararagunath, Shri Jeeva Gopal Patadash Raghunath, Shara Gosai Prabhu ki jai, Shri Sarup Damadai, Rai Ramanandari, Shri Gopal Shad Vrinda ki jai, Namo Chai Shri Hai Ras Thakur ki jai, Prem Se Kohan Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita Gadadhar, Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Shri Kshetra Mandal, Gaur Mandal, Vajra Mandal, Mathura Vrindavan Dham ki jai, Sarva Abhishtra Pradatta Giri Raj Maharaj ki jai, Shri Radha Kun Shama Kun Ki Jai, Shri Muna Devi Gang, Yamuna Devi Ganga Devi Ki Jai, Shri Tulsi Maharani Vrinda Devi Ki Jai, Shri Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, Shri Purnamasi Yoga Maya Ki Jai, Shri Gopeshwar Mahadev Ki Jai, Shri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, Anantakoti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Jai, Samagata Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai, 
शनिताय गौर प्रमाण ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भगवतम की जाए श्री कार्तिक व्रत की जाए व्रत पालन करी भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री श्री राधा दाम जीव की जाए शनिताय गौर प्रमाण दे हरि हरि वो वृंदाय तो श्रीवाय प्रियाय के शवश्चा कृष्ण भक्ति पद देवी सत्यवताय नमो नम वंशा कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम All right, Dandavat Pranams, see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, sorry, this evening. I'm really tired. That's why I was reading a little bit, like, I wasn't able to read so clearly, because I was kind of, <laughs> you couldn't see my face, but I was, like, starting to, like, really, okay, Haribo.